Good evening, good afternoon, good day, depending on where you are in the world. Happy Tuesday, happy update day. Boy, it's been a been an update day, hadn't it? It was a big update. Took a while to download and get going, but managed to, with a delay of game, as it were, uh, managed to get it done and operating. Even managed to squeeze some time in to do some snow removal, which that's always exciting. Hope everyone is well. Good to see everyone in the chat. Allison Johnson's here. Good to see it. Papa Joe B. Welcome back. Good to see it. Kingsman is still updating the sim. I know the feeling it does take forever. This one in particular. Just a lot of server load. Slowing speeds down. Uh, Papa Joe B. The name tag shortcut F12 doesn't work after the update. I'm assuming that. Yeah, it probably just needs an update. Uh, Floyd Drix is in. Hello, all. Double check Bing data, Bing data and photogrammetry. Mine switched off to after update. Good call. Allison has all mods disabled at the moment. That's a good idea. I so far I I tested it out with straight vanilla, and then I added some stuff back in, and everything, most everything, seems to be fine at the moment. Uh, Capac Nine is here. Just, to, just here to drop a light, still down in a massive update. Not sure my internet is about to enter these days. Well, glad you stopped by. Many thanks for the like. Hope your update goes well, and we'll see ya. Ozymandias is in. Good to see ya. Hope you're well. Allison Johnson says the update took very... Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was... Oh, that doesn't show. Ah, uh, I gotta redo that. Um, bam. Aha, camera. Uh, let's see. Ben McClure, after consuming 532 pancakes, I'm ready for a stream. I had pancakes too. Uh, three pancakes from Bob Evans with a blueberry topping, and they were phenomenal. And then I had some eggs and hash browns and sausage and bacon. It was a good breakfast. Frozen is still downloading, but good day to you, my friend. Thank you for the follow, Ozzy Mandius. Much appreciated. Not sure why I didn't get the on-screen notification. Hmm. Where are you? Twitch is right. How is, where is, why is that not there? Where's the alert box? That, that's there. That's there. Checking the toss back on. Uh oh. Browser, add existing. Streamlabs notification. Put that there. Make it smaller. And we'll put it right about there, Ski. And scroll that down. Okay, well, that should work. Anyway, uh, let's see. Over to see in, in, in the flight. Uh, I hope so, too. Uh, is a little stuttery with the with just the update, but there's probably a lot of good reasons for that. Um, everything seems to be a okay though. Good to see you though. Two Tone Murphy's in the chat. Good to see you. Hope all is well. Busy, busy, busy day. War Hamsters in. Uh, I briefly considered asking a Mrs. Hamster to update the sim as I'm at work, but then I thought better of it. She loves me, but probably not that much. <laughs> Well, there's always hope, right? So, we are in fact in Ireland. We're 
starting off at Nock, we're going to fly up to Donegal, fly over the northern bit on our way to Belfast City Airport, and then we're going to fly down to Casement. Nice little Northern Ireland tour as Luke is Epic is now following over on Twitch, I believe. Many thanks, my dude. Hope you enjoy the stream. We're just about to get started here. So you might be asking, well, gosh, what are we flying? Well, you'd find out by the description, but we're in the 172 and we're just taking the livery out for a spin because it's been a while and I really like this and it has a lot of personal meaning so we're using it um, and this livery should be available soon on twotonemurphy.com in the download section many thanks to Murphy for throwing that in there many many thanks uh, Allison can only make the first two legs tonight no worries I'm just glad you're here at all. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the cockpit. Gonna close the field cutoff. Mixture goes to rich. Throttle goes to cracked. Parking brake set. Going to, you know. That, and then we're going to do that. That, that. Okay, so we're gonna set our trim for takeoff. Okay, there. Okay. Let's see, Google Matavish is in. Good day to you, my friend. Hope you're well. A lot of, a lot of downloads finishing. I, I delayed the stream an hour to help, kind of accommodate for that a little bit. Not to mention, I needed to do that for my own sake. Um, but it's understandable. So, alternator and battery masters going on. Beacons getting switched on. Mags are going to both, before I say clear pop. And the engine comes alive. Now we want to make sure the engine is idling between 900 and 1000 RPMs. As Fly Guy is here, good to see you. Welcome along. And yes, make sure you drink some water because, you know, water is important. <clears throat> Shall drink some myself. Okay, so we're going to hide the yoke. We're going to turn some lightage on as we also turn on the avionics. In theory. There might be some issues just because of liveries, but that's okay. We have the mini map. And we can hand fly. No, I was here along for the ride, but it may not fly. No worries. A lot of people still updating their stuff, so it's understandable. Uh, got the call to go have your first COVID vaccination. Nice. Um, runway. That's a great question. I probably should have uh, basically um, two six. That's handy. So we'll take off on two six. Uh, two six, two three. Yeah, six is a three goes into six. Yeah, you're fine. So, going to release the parking brake. Spool the engine up just a tad as we lean the mixture out just a little bit to keep the plugs from fouling. We're going to wiggle our way to the runway. 
Hope everyone's doing well. It's cold. It's cold here in Michigan. It was, uh, when I woke up, it was in, like, minus, minus 13 Celsius or so. It was about 8 degrees Fahrenheit. It, it, I didn't want to get out of bed. I was, I was nice and warm in my blankets. But, alas, I, I, I needed to. Four degrees... <laughs> Comparatively, absolutely. So, turn the taxi lights off, landing lights on, strobe lights on, as we are entering a an active runway. And since we paid for the whole runway, we're going to use the whole runway. Uh, it'll be interesting to see Belfast in the update because the two big cranes were just walls. Well, you would know better than I. Uh, yes, Dougal, it is the 172. 10C in London. Got your shirts and shades on earlier. Nice. I can just picture you in the in the the short shorts. No problem, Dougal. <laughs> All right, so we'll turn around now. So we're all lined up. We're going to have a quick look around. We got a few fireflies with us tonight, which is understandable given the update. So we're just gonna go ahead and get rolling. How does that sound? So we'll slowly introduce the throttle. Try to keep the nose on the center line as much as possible. 40 knots. Airspeed's coming alive, 45, 50 knots, one notch of flaps coming down, 60 knots, we're getting light, there we are, and we're up, I uh, believe, uh, no, absolutely, I, I'm glad that I finally was able to get in, into one of the events uh, without any kind of schedule conflicts, it was a great event, lots of fun, uh, I'm only sad that I missed the announcement for the uh, recipient because my computer decided to say, no, it needs a break. So, but yeah, no, fantastic event. Simwing's awesome. Uh, we are on the East USA server there, uh, Flydrix. Oh dear. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I had I couldn't tell you a donation count on my end because I sent all my viewers directly to the Sim Wings website, so I don't have a number from you or a number from me directly. But it's all good. It all goes to a good cause. Credit not required. You guys do a fantastic job, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Uh oh, Draco's multiplayer is being silly. Yeah, double check your uh, data settings. Um, I believe it's Flydrix. Maybe earlier reported things being turned off, so it's possible things got switched off inadvertently. Hundred percent, Dougal, and that's awesome. I'm just happy to have been a small part of that. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just gonna go ahead and en route because it only looks like there's three of us.
So we're going to go ahead and start making our way from Nock to Donegal as we see what's new. And we get the pleasure of hand flying the route today. Jepson 2001 is in the house. Happy update to you as well. We get to check out the fantastic Caseman Aerodrome scenery by Jepson 2001 at the end of the trip which thankfully has not had any reported issues with the new update. It's fantastic. Coley205 is here. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Welcome along to the flight. Fair enough, Allison. No worries there. I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, uh, some users have reported the that that got turned off over the course of the update. Why? Who knows? But something just as a bit of a note. So we're going to dial back the power to about 2400 RPM. That's so we're about where we want to be altitude wise. Well that's good. Hopefully they're a little bit more readable and maybe even accurate. Interesting. Yeah, I'll be honest, most of my pre-stream testing was just seeing if it was stable enough to fly. And so far it is. Oh dear. I switched to North European server and saw the place respect to East USA and now we see yourself flying one of the Uh, seeing some in-game graphic tearing a bit. Flying off the line, that's okay. What a beautiful place to fly in. Uh, it should be. Yeah, man. East USA. I'll switch over to North Europe for a moment, see what happens. Cryptic one, I know. The subject of my test is looking good. In my opinion, it's better condition than their previous aircraft at release in its current form. Nice. That's good to hear. 
I'm looking forward to it for sure, as I totally know exactly what you're speaking of. It's a fantastic aircraft, and I'm looking forward to it being released. Hopefully there aren't any major issues with it that need fixing. Okay, we'll switch back to East USA and see what happens. Ireland's such a beautiful place. Like, that's a cool looking hill. I don't know what it's called, I don't know what's there, but it's just a neat looking hill. Uh, Frozen says, for all of you struggling with the update, did you try this fix? In command... Uh, the command prompt as admin type net ss worth a shot for people having issues. Uh, Warham says the bug list is getting shorted. I haven't managed to break, and that's saying something nice. Uh, I'm at the wrong airport. Oopsie, <laughs> that'll do it. Uh, switch servers right with you, but still didn't see any aircraft or labels. I have the labels off. I East, East USA was working, so we'll just use the North Europe server for right now. See what happens. It'll let me click on it. As fly daring, good evening, sir. I'm up with you. See no nameplates, and don't forget to reset. Right. Yeah, I. Uh, I don't know. I can ah, I see some lights. As I've moved over to the North Europe server, I saw some lights, and then they blinked off. Yeah, I did all the download and restarted the sim, then shut my computer off, turned it back on, and did everything. Aha! Draco sees me! So it just took some server cycling. Awesome. Yep, I see some lights off in the distance. Man, this is such a nice paint job. Sir Blackie a lot did a fantastic job. Uh, this is, of course, a a recreation of my grandfather's airplane, um, at least as close as possible, given the difference between a 1960 Cessna 175 Skylark and a Cessna 172 of the modern era. But it's a fantastic job, and I, I don't get enough opportunity to fly it, so we're flying it. Uh, let's see. Oops. Caps. Just saw uh, Gibbo Island distance. Can't see Colonel. Interesting. Uh, gee, had to turn AI aircraft back. Aha! That'll do it. Uh, are you on North Europe? Yes, Allison, I am on North Europe. Just giving it a try. Uh, Papa Joe B. Draco sees Papa Joe B. Look at the sun on the aircraft. Yeah, it's. And now it's behind a cloud. Fairly substantial cloud. We're a little off course and a little high on altitude, but that's okay. We're we're doing this to explore and have some fun. Have the crack, if you will. What a lovely lake that just goes straight into the ocean. 
which I believe we're getting close to Sligo. <coughs> Allison Johnson sees peoples. Awesome. It's all coming together. That looks like Luke is epic with a follow. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but thanks regardless. That's a neat looking hill. Mr. Whitaker is in the house. Good to see him, my dude. So last night, Mr. Whitaker was testing out some IL-2. So if you have any interest in watching some World War II flight sim combat, feel free to check out Mr. Whitaker's channel. Boring day work, not a thing going on. Yeah, it's, that's what happens when there's a snowstorm. And Draco is hitting the rental power. So we're actually overflying Sligo now. If I can get a look at it. Yep, there's Sligo. And there's an airport. <laughs> there's an airport on the on the runway. There's an aircraft on the runway. Words are hard. Uh, let's see, yep, they had a delayed start. Nobody minus us until 1000. Yeah. And yeah, we got hammered, you know, just with the whole winter storm and everything. Nothing compared to Texas, but Texas isn't used to weather like this. I've uh, seen some pictures from Missouri even, and they got quite a bit of snow. So we got more fireflies taking off and joining the flight. Awesome. Uh, Pop Jimmy had vaccine canceled today due to the weather. That never materialized as forecast. Unfortunately, got it rescheduled for Sunday. For there you go. Should be. Let me double check the Discord. Yeah, E-I-K-N to E-I-D-L to E-G-A-C to E-I-M-E. Uh-oh. Kingsman is getting reverse internet. Uh, ben McClure says, wish we had snow. It's just miserable wind and rain. By all means, take some of my snow. I, I have too much of it, and I have plenty to share. I mean, if, if, if some of you guys in Europe don't take it, I will gladly send my snow over to Mr. Winokur. He can have it all. Hopefully it does frozen. 
Many appreciate it for the share, though. <laughs> Look at the clouds. I've got them turned down quality-wise, but it's still neat. So Murph had a fantastic stream yesterday with continuing on the India trip and showcased the beta version of the, was it Flying Iron Simulations Mark 9C Spitfire, which looked spectacular. And no sooner did he do that than late last night, Aeroplane Heaven posted news about their Mark 1A Spitfire as Old Papa K Old Papa DK is rating with a party of seven. Many thanks, my dude. Hope you're well. How was your stream? Hope it went well. the cavalry yeah no many thanks my friend went well like the new update nice where'd you fly at where'd you fly over we're checking out the northern part of the irish isle the emerald isle also known as ireland we took off from knock at echo india kilo november and we're on our way to donegal at echo india Delta Lima. We're here flying also with the fireflies. As you can tell, because they look like fireflies. Uh, Frankfurt to Liverpool and from there to London. Nice. feeling that song. It's not upbeat enough. Just look at look at the way the the sun works. It's just amazing. The lighting, the lighting in this sim is just phenomenal. Many, I don't think I mentioned it. Many thanks for the follow, old Papa DK. Do greatly appreciate it. As Ram Rasmus twenty eight oh five with the follow as well. Many thanks. Let's tested label shortcut and it works now. Must have been because of the AI setting. Uh, yeah, that'll probably do it. Uh, Bible clear, what is the red switch for beside the 85 in the Cessna? That is the ELT or the emergency locator transponder. So it's if your plane goes down, that'll activate uh, and it'll make it easier to find the uh, aircraft.
fact, I think we can activate it and hear it. Yeah, the extra sugar button. Yep, so it works. We'll test it. Yep. As we wander off course a little bit, that's okay. We'll wander back. A nice orderly line of fireflies. As we've got one coming up behind in what I'm believing to be a caravan. No problem, Ben. Yeah, I, I, I knew it at one point, but it's been so long. <laughs> I used to have, because uh, uh, one of the times that my grandpa changed his uh, batteries in, for the ELT in his plane, he gave me the old one. It's still, it was still fine, and it had a 9-volt connector, and so I hooked it up to radios, and it worked. It was like, it was great. It was a big battery, though. It's a, it's a sizable brick. Bright orange. Yeah, there's certain times in an hour where you can test it. And and then there's certain requirements for when you have to change it out. I, I don't really recall the information offhand. Um, it's been, been a while since I've studied. Um, or had to study, even. So the knowledge is a little on the rusty side. And this sim just never ceases to amaze me with the visuals. Uh, the answer is not commonly in the POH, it's in the data reference sheets. Aha! I don't think it's one of the common things to change. So I could only guess maybe like at a hundred hour inspection. Annual would be almost too frequent. <laughs> Just beautiful. Just beautiful. It's always fun flying with the fireflies. Oh, 100%. I mean, it's it's <laughs> I've likened to it it's it's a flight sim Instagram of sorts because it's just so I've got so many screenshots from this of various airplanes and locations. It's it's, it's hilarious. Uh, I managed to turn my grass and trees to ultra and keep 35 FPS, which is around, which around here is staying nice. Uh, Diggle, to, I'll try picking up at the next field, having issues. No worries, Diggle, we'll be here for you. We're getting close to rejoining the the old magenta line. Let's look at you got windmills. See the trees. And to hike around here would be fantastic. Uh, here's another gotcha. The only wooden part of the Cessna is the little mount that the beacon sits on. That makes sense. 
unless you keep a pair of chocks in the uh, in the luggage compartment, like my grandpa did. That's not tech, but it's not technically a part of the airplane. It's just in the airplane. Well, when flyers in, that's you on my six. Awesome. You have a good night, old Papa TK. Thanks for the raid and for the follow. Hope you have a great evening, and we'll catch you next time. There's a bump. Uh, Ozymandias says, I should be able to check out the Titanic Museum in Belfast. It It's based on ship's bow dimensions. Nice. We'll certainly give it a look once we get to Belfast. Uh, does anyone else notice there is an outline around aircraft that have uh, yeah so I have that I'm not on the FXAA or the TAA or whatever the, the highest setting is I'm on like the the F or the D I don't remember uh, and I get that around trees and stuff Koziaki Flyer 66 is in. Good to see you. How are you? Hope you're well. Happy update day. So today was not only Taco Tuesday like it usually is, because every Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. It was also Pancake Tuesday. So I had pancakes, and they were awesome. And of course, I, I had to complete the breakfast suite, so I also had some eggs and hash browns and bacon and sausage. Because protein's important. Meow. Yep, there's that outline. It's a weird glitch, but I can live with it. Ireland's such a beautiful country. Can't wait to be able to go over and visit. Yeah. You know, it's... It's not only would I get a chance to see the beautiful country that is Ireland, I'd also be able to hang out with Murph and meet up with some fireflies and have a grand old time in the Isles. Between seeing as much of Ireland and as I can also checking out the UK as much as possible many friends over in this neck of the woods between you got Murphy you got Kingsman over in Liverpool we have ailerons into the wind over in Wales of course Allison Johnson over near Newcastle you know a lot of friends to visit up this region of the world closest field we are about six minutes out from echo india delta lima Donegal. 
where we'll be making our first landing of the evening, as something seemed to have made a funny feel on my arm. Uh, sim takes forever to start. Uh, yeah, it. One thing I've noticed is the first start after an update or the first start of the day, it takes forever. Um, it gets better once all the things are cached and whatever. Care 85 is here. Is beautiful home country. Absolutely. It's a stunning country. You should be very proud of that. I'll do a stop at Donegal and watch the rest. Had a long day and I'm... No worries, Allison. You take it easy. Appreciate you coming for as long as you could on the flight. And happy to have you even in the chat. So, airport is in sight, I believe. That should be Donegal. So, we're going to pop into the cockpit, see where we're at altitude-wise. Oh, we're at four and a half thousand feet. Isn't that lovely? So we'll put the mixture to full, and we're going to start reducing power, excuse me, to 2100. Trim up a little bit. It's not over speed. do apologize for the hour delay of the stream, but it was necessary. Should be. If it's running, I better catch it. Oh, how's the sim running? Yeah, it seems to be... There's a kind of a hitch here and there as I'm going through the areas again, and it's kind of refreshing the cache. Uh, but other than that, it seems fine. Feels nice and feels nice and stable. Uh, no, we're going to land on runway two one. Thanks to Sim Toolkit Pro. See, I trying to think of other things that I've changed recently to help out because I had posted something about VL runtime uh, being an issue. Um, and read through a whole thread and some issues if you have Corsair the Corsair IQ software uh, that was causing some people some issues uh, so I updated mine it seems to you know for now being okay um, not to mention reducing settings and this and that uh, I seem to be getting some better performance, but I also have an empty... Yeah, that'll do it. I kind of went for gusto and <laughs> threw caution to the wind a little bit, because that's me. Um, and mo anything but outside of scenery add-ons, I added back in, so tunnel liveries... I think there's a few scenery. I left a few sceneries in, like uh, Shannon, uh, Casement, one or two others. I think I ended up lefting in, lefting in, leaving in, and things seem to be okay. Yeah. Like, some of the add-ons that I had for small farm strips are of the UK, I may not reinstall it at all. Because I... Yeah. Now, I may not reinstall the, like, the farm strips, the Niels Tours or whatever it was, just because 
It has just a bunch of them, and it's neat. they're neat little airstrips, but I kind of get lag every time I'm near them. Alright, so we're going to reduce throttle again to about there. Yeah, I like the... Although the Garmin 530 mod is actually really nice. Um, I don't think it's working right now because, you know, black screen. But I don't know if it's the livery or the 530 mod yet. Uh, we are on the new the uh, North Europe server, Florence. We're just getting to the downwind leg, ish. Oh, we're gonna try to hook up all my pants. Uh, I think Dougal was saying he was having issues with his Logitech panels not working. I don't know that they were crashing the sim by any means, but he said that they weren't were not functional. So we're gonna turn base. Gonna adjust trim. Yep, I, I, I stayed on North Europe just because it seemed that's where everybody was seeing everybody else. Gibble Ireland's in. How you doing, my friend? Hope you're well. Uh, Draco says, oh no. I hope I didn't give you terrible news. I'm awful at giving news. Here's the white arc, so there's one notch of flaps. Trim down. Check our RPM. Yeah, we're fine. Throw in that next. Notch flaps trim down to maintain speed. Man, all the Streamlabs notifications coming in at once. But do be sure to drink some water. really high so we're gonna reduce power significantly put that last notch of flaps out uh, East USA multiplayer didn't seem to work at yeah it was it was being silly so we decided you know what we're just gonna try something different and so far it seems to work Hammy is back. The cosine looks better, I think. Uh, you'd have a, be a better judge of it than I. So we line up. There is a bit of a crosswind. I'm running few clouds, but I decided to make the wind speed 14 knots for a little bit of added challenge I think the area over here looks a little neater tidied up a bit that looks a bit more defined right here or I could just be mistaken
So we're we're crabbing into the wind. Yeah, exactly, Dougal. So, Rattles of Idle, rolled out, going for Flare. And we're down. Under 40 knots, flaps are going up. Setting idle engine power. Uh, Goblins is just passing by. Update if it works. Flew a little tomorrow. I work. Sorry, next time. Nice. Glad to have you along even to pop in and say hello. Hope you have a good evening and we'll definitely catch you between Discord and... Yeah, those signs are huge. Uh, on the Discord and the next stream. It also seems to be floating. So, we'll... Man, those are huge signs. My goodness. So, we're gonna just park it here. Going to... Turn on some name tags. Load. Fly and save, go back, resume, hide me, uh, where did it go, there it is, Fly Darren is in, uh, Floy is in, Fly Darren's in, uh, Draco's in, I'm missing all the landings. As Tunkers is at the end of the runway, there's Draco, Alley Cat, Papa Joe. Commandant Mutley, Mr. Nice, Baron Scrap, or Baranco, excuse me. Our Bruschetta, Merlin Flyer, Dougal, and USA PR1. So, welcome to Donegal. One and all. Let's see what I did there. So once everybody gets down, I'm going to do a sim restart. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. Tip your waitress. There's Dougal. I think they've gone a bit too far with the scale of this taxi size. Uh, yeah, I'll agree. I mean, those things are massive. They went from a bit too small to, holy cow, they're too huge. Good call, Draco. Draco, my friend. There we go, we got more folks coming in. There's Gibbo, there's Merlin. I mean, I like being able to read them, but goodness, they're ginormous. Oh, hold on to it, Merlin. Hold on to her. Going around. I mean, they're they're about the size that I could probably crawl into one and you know take a nap and hide. Yeah. 
There's USA PR1. I did see a note about that in the InSim Marketplace. Highly likely in anticipation. Uh, Peter Kearney is in. So this is where is everyone is at. I was busy checking out the other end of Ireland. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, decided to tour around the northern part of the, the island, uh, as it's not an area that I've explored a great deal. Done quite a few trips between Casement and Shannon, but the northern part of the isle is somewhere that I've not visited, specifically Belfast and, you know, that part. I've not spent a whole lot of time around, so I decided that, you know what, it was a good chance and excuse to check it out as Merlin flyers coming around for attempt number two uh, I don't have the wheel brake set on my office chair so hitting the toe brakes <laughs> whoops yeah that's one of the nice things about carpet is I don't have to worry about sliding around too awful much so once Merlin gets down we'll do a sim restart And then continue on our tour. Sir Murray1234 is now following over on Twitch. Many thanks, my dude. Hope you enjoy the content. Uh, let's see. And Merlin Flyers in. Nice job. Let's see. As an FYI, Sky Park had an update today as well. Make sure you start your Sky Park transponder and let it update. Roger that. Uh, I th actually, Donegal was handcrafted. Uh, I don't know what edition it was in, but it, it, it's actually a handcrafted airport. Alright, so we'll switch to this screen while I restart the old simulator. Uh, turn a couple things off. Turn that off. Why? Go back. Menu. <clears throat> Going to turn off the switches on the yoke. So I hope everyone is having a nice evening as we have had update day. I want to check that while I'm at it. Let's see. Da, da, da. Just checking on a couple of things. Uh... Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Still downloading the giant size pass. Yeah, it's big. Uh, all the wait for the download was well worth it when you. Yeah, hundred percent. Do, 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 do. Where is that one thing? Hmm. I know I have it installed, I just can't remember the name of it. Uh. 
no, 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 Uh, where is it? Maybe I did, maybe I installed it by mistake. That's possible. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, should we be taxing that same run? Do we? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll take off on the same runway that we landed on, just for the ease of it. I'm just trying to. Huh. Actually didn't have it installed. Interesting. Um, ha. Well, we'll try it out. So it was the livery causing me not to see the radio. Interesting. So we might go to the default livery in the meantime. Glad you enjoyed it, John. Getting ready for leg number two. Uh, da, 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 da. Flyder and I agree. It looks just incredible. Absolutely, Gibbo. Uh, first trip was to Anfield. It was so good. Nice. Uh, Wayland says, guess I won't be flying tonight. Just finish download and go to bed. Well, that's a bummer, Wayland, but just think there's still the flight tomorrow with Murph, and I still got another one this week. Uh, Fly Dare Me too. It looked epic. Shame they have the other place there. Uh, does anyone know what the aircraft, what aircraft is next? Uh, it's a good question. I would say that's a toughie because the approval week, you, you can release something on like Just Flight or whatever, and but it takes Microsoft four to seven weeks to approve uh, anything getting added to the InSim marketplace. Which is incredibly frustrating because it takes so long, but there's a lot of good reason for it. So I don't know which is coming next. So Shane Train says, uh, working on, so just here to get a feel of how things are going with it. Well, we're so glad to have you. So far, they're acting nicely. I mean, I managed to get from one place to the other place without any major issues. So I'd call that a win so far. Yeah, we're going to skip this. That song. We don't need it. So just waiting for the old simulator to load. Let's see. You have a good night, Noel. We'll see you on the Discord and the next stream. Glad to have you along. As Pierre Kearney says, just like the guys mentioned Ireland and UK seem to look. Yeah, I think I think things are just a little bit more defined, uh, especially when it comes to terrain, and maybe the uh, satellite imagery is just a little sharper. Uh, considering that one of the first aircraft was the. Kit facts is well that was also the first one so you know you get one through and learn from the rest 
Uh, I only had to see caused by VR, but that was me overdoing on the graphics, I think. Ha! Yeah, that could do it. So, for this next leg, we're going to be flying from here in Donegal, flying over whenever, uh, Londonderry and Eglinton, or Londonderry, Eglinton, I could be pronouncing that out. We're going to fly over that on our way to Belfast City Airport. Wayland is off to bed. You sleep well, my friend, and we will catch you next time. So I'm zooming in here. Yeah, da, 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 da. Set his departure. Uh, that's right. We're going to stay on the North Europe server. Got that set. We want up there. Do, 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 do. E G A C. Belfast City. Eglinton. Add. Okay, let's. Give her a whirl. Let's see what happens. Switches are off. Pen can go back in the pen holder. Okay. Look at that. So far, that seems to work. Awesome. Alright, so we're going to switch over Nya. Switch that back on. Let's see. What are you thinking of the sim so far? It it's stable. Um and it seems to have some performance improvements, which is kind of nice. Uh Ben's going to ramble out as well, but I've been watching the replay. You take care, Ben, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah, so far it's Things have been pretty nice. I seem to have a bit more... I don't know what the right word is. I think the performance seems a, a little smoother. Um, so, yeah. As Joe Bob pushes us back, that should be far enough get back in the cockpit so fuel cut off open parking brake set uh, we're going to set that for takeoff get in there master beacon clear prop Pardon me. Engine start up good. Rack the mixture a little bit. Yeah, it, it's looking the the satellite imagery and the terrain look a, a bit sharper. Yeah, what Murph said. Avionics coming on. Taxi navy will navy lights nav lights. Turn on the old transponder. Letting everything in the aircraft warm up.
as Splasher6 is now following. Many thanks, my dude. Hope you enjoy the content. Set our altitude for the autopilot. Autopilot. Kozaki, uh, Kozaki Flyer 66, it looks great. No issues so far. Yeah, knock on wood, everything seems to be doing pretty well. So we're going to go ahead and start mosey on down to the active. Yeah, those signs. Wow. <laughs> I mean, they're they're not s super small in real life, but goodness, when they're about the size of the cabin of a 172, eh, it's a little big. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a little big for at least, you know, an airport the size of Donegal. So taxi lights off, landing lights on, strobe lights on. We want to see and be seen as we enter an active runway. We'll taxi down to the opposite end for departure. So we're wandering around. Man, I love this paint scheme so much. Just look at that. Uh... At least it I can Yeah. There's there's no misreading the signs now. You're definitely gonna see them. <laughs> Change that takes us it may appear a bit more realistic at night. Yeah. Uh the link folder program idea was a great idea as I mean nice. I did the whole just rename them the community folder and then make an empty folder and rename it community and that seems to have worked for me. Is it a Blue Angels theme? Nice. So we're going to depart on runway 21. We'll do our own little turn around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Turn around. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to deal with my singing anymore. So we'll get into position and hold for fireflies and mixture goes to full slowly add power in Ooh. that crosswind though so we're putting a little right aileron in with some left rudder Full power, 50 knots, notch of flaps down. Oh dear, that's a bonanza. So we're up. Waiting for 300 feet to put the flaps up. Yeah, it was. Flaps coming up. We'll get out and watch the fireflies take off. Like, especially when it comes to this area here, it just looks more well defined than it did before the update. Uh, we're flying over. Uh, we're not stopping, just a, just a flyover.
So we'll get it. Hey, got some markings in the sand there. That's interesting. I'm guessing that sand. Uh, switch to the dark side to compare. Aha! Seems that most of the fireflies are up. We'll continue this circle. Yeah, it's like the 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 water mask is a bit more well defined now, uh, especially. I and mean, that's a nice beach. Beach down there, that'd be a nice beach to, you know, relax on and hear airplanes come in and out. A lot of rocks. So, let's see, we're, we're going to trim that down to 2,500 feet. We're going to go ahead and turn it on, go to nav mode, switch to GPS. Vertical speed, 500 feet per minute. And we're going to get out and watch the fireflies. Uh, Donegal was some, at some of the best beaches in the world, and some of the worst weather. <laughs> it figures. Could land the goose on there. Oh, absolutely. So I'm getting a little, seeing a little bit of stuttering in OBS, but that's just an OBS issue. The sim itself is smooth. That's just the nature of the OBS. Okay, so we're at cruise altitude. We're going to power back to 2400 RPM. Lean out the th mixture a little bit. Let's look at that. Yeah, these mountains definitely look more well defined as well. I didn't enter the new flight in here. Whoopsie doodle. There we go.
There we go. That should. There we go. Now we got all all the informations. Uh, da, 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 da. So it seems most of these people are over here on Twitch, so I'll jump ship. No worries, Dougal. Yeah, as far as YouTube versus Twitch, uh, at least on my channel, as I'm just gonna hide me because I'm not as interesting as the Sim is. Uh, YouTube for me is it's kind of like a storage deposit box. Uh, it's it's a lower, much lower priority. I don't plan on monetizing it. Um, Twitch to me is where I, I spend most of my time, put most of my effort into. I just like the platform better. Uh, Draco says, like, uh, better push out operators. Actually, yeah. Uh, sorry, I can't be flying with you halfway through a 10 and a half. No worries, John. That's quite all right. Happy to have you in chat anyway. I uh, walked up and met Aragal, the highest one in front, a few years ago. Crazy views, I bet. I do notice about shorter delay. Yeah. So the latency on Twitch is a lot tighter um, between when you send a chat and when I receive it and then you see it. Uh, so that's that's just one of the reasons why the the image itself tends to be a bit sharper. Um, there are some different you know you know you don't get the progress bar like you do on YouTube. Um, sometimes you don't always get to select the quality you're you're watching it at, unless you're a partner. Um, you know unless you're a partner at Twitch. Uh, partners get a better or a higher priority. As Baranco has moved over to Twitch as well. Uh, but it's just... It, I, I like Twitch as a platform, but it's kind of like Michelin and Radial Tires. That's, that's all they've done. They never did bias ply tires. Um, so they, they're really good at radial tires because that's all they've ever done uh, whereas you know other companies they started off doing bias ply tires and then they moved to radial tires and you know Michelin does a really good job with radial tires I've not had a pair of Mich or set of Michelins that I haven't liked uh, their wiper blades are pretty good too um, so yeah I mean y YouTube has its perks and there's good things about it it's just as a platform for streaming, uh, I Twitch is by far better in my opinion. YouTube is still great for regular videos, and it does a it does a good job at streaming. But it is what it is. I will not. You know, every, everybody has a preference, and and that's fine by me. Ooh, this would be fun to fly fast down. So I probably one of those is Mount Aragal. So we've got the fireflies drawing us. Yeah, it's just I think the water mask is much better defined. You're seeing a lot of the smaller land masses now. Um, Yeah, and I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot a little bit because I haven't spent a lot of time flying over Northern Ireland or the northern part of Ireland, I should really say. So it's hard for me to give a comparison. But at the same time, I'm streaming it, so anybody that can notice a difference, feel free to shout out what you notice. Uh, I do notice better sim stability as... Ken Gralianantan, wow, that's a mouthful, has followed on Twitch. Many thanks, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy the content. To Ken Gralianantan. Wait, some names you, you, you got to break down into things you can actually pronounce. And hope that you don't butcher too bad. But many thanks for the follow. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the content. Uh, 
don't feel this uh, casement is on. No, 100%. Uh, Zaki Flyer. No, Jeppesen did a ph phenomenal job with it, and the version 2 or the update that it got recently was just icing on the cake as Barranco has followed. Many thanks, my friend. So, yeah, I think, you know, it's just... And I'm glad that it didn't have any issues with, with today's update. You know, adding in moving doors and stuff for the new hangers. Can't wait to see the Echo India November November Shannon Airport from Jefferson 2001. It's going to be amazing. Dude does phenomenal work. You can, of course, get the Shannon scenery, or not the Shannon scenery, the Casement Aerodrome Baldano scenery over at twotonemurphy.com. Same place you can, will be able to get this phenomenal livery by Sir Blackie a lot and others. This, of course, being a recreation of my grandfather's airplane. Uh, his airplane was a Cessna 175A Skylark. Hence why it says Skylark on the front there. It was there in real life. But, so this is a, a paint scheme that is very near and dear to my heart. And I enjoy being able to check it out uh, whenever, or get to fly it whenever I can. And it's always a pleasure flying around with the fireflies. Y'all are awesome folks. And I appreciate all of you. Or as I like to say from time to time, all y'all. As the captain has gone inverted. living dangerously. So yeah, I, I there the the sim itself seems to be a bit more stable, which is fantastic. Um the water mask around the I Emerald Isle seems to be sharper the satellite imagery, I think, is a little sharper. I could be mistaken. It's hard for me to say 100% because of me running some medium to maybe some high settings. Uh, Draco says, okay, I have to say it. Look at the state of that. Yeah, it is. And look at the state of the flying. It's phenomenal. I do appreciate that, Kingsman. You know, it's been a long road getting with the streaming stuff and you know we found I found a fantastic com community with Murphy and the fireflies and you know getting involved with sim wings and you know it's all been phenomenal and a lot of great people uh Dougal, that was my guess as well I would have said Hammy, but he's working at the moment. So yeah, I definitely think the, the water mask is greatly improved. And the uh, terrain mesh is a bit more well defined. I've heard that there's some areas that are still kind of lacking, which can't win them all. We
<laughs> Do you want to build a snow? I I'm done with snow. <laughs> oh, there's so much snow. In fact, I was out shoveling earlier today, trying to dig a trench out to the street and clear out the sidewalk, and the handle on my shovel broke. So I decided to take a, a small break of and try to fix it and check on the sim as it was downloading the update. Well, sure enough, I check on the, the sim and just the window is just white. And I'm like, well, that's not good. Went unresponsive, so I closed it out, restarted it, and it took forever to get the last six and a quarter gig download to download. And then by then it was time to start the stream, and so I, I haven't finished shoveling yet, but the stream is important. Maybe I can finish the shoveling in the dark. Uh, let's see, Seamus Plug, if I may, you don't ever feel, you know, you can always feel free to plug Simlink. Simlink's is fantastic. Yeah, so if you're able to create videos, tutorials, and so on, contact Dougal McTavish for Simwings because they're they're a fantastic organization, and they're always looking for new ways to share the joy and the love of the flight sim community. So if you're able to help them out in any way, contact Dougal. Colonel, what do you have your terrain level set slider set to? Uh, I think the two sliders that are at the very top are set to 100, as Britus999 is now following many thanks, my dude. Hope you enjoy the flight. Hope you're well. Flightern is your man after... This week. Yeah. Uh, Shame's plug. I'll be recording my first podcast on UFOs. Ooh. Nice. So far, I don't have any first hand experience for you to feed off of Draco, but look forward to the content. Very cool. I don't. I don't know why I go. But I think I, I'm going to blame Murph for me saying Draco. Draco. Draco, like the the dragon from Dragonheart, who is voiced by Sean Connery, as it so happens. So there are five minutes. An out for or, uh, five miles out of Derry, so we'll get to. Well, that means we're starting to get into get closer to Belfast. There's a little... I'm going to guess that's a road going across here. Uh, I met Sean Connery while working security at the Dominion Theater. Nice! Uh, I wouldn't say that I met, but I had a, a brief encounter with John DeLancey, also known as Q from Star Trek, at a convention once. Me and some friends were filming a skit, and one of those skits involved the use of an elevator. Well we're getting ready to film and John Delancey comes around the corner surprise because now picture a bunch of people if you've ever heard of the video game Halo 
picture a bunch of people dressed up in the armor. Now imagine being somebody that knows nothing about Halo, turning the corner and seeing a bunch of armored folks around the elevator. Well, we, Clark, you know, we had a short encounter. He goes to get in the elevator and helmet in hand, I go to reach for the elevator as the doors were closing to keep it open for him, and he squished my helmet a little bit as he got in the elevator, and but it all worked out. So that was a neat little encounter. Uh, da -da -da, my friends had a large flying triangle after a late night of bingo. Two, three, I've been hooked ever since. From Canton, started Facebooker. Nice. As now we make our turn towards Belfast. A slight turn. Uh, Kingsman and on the sim update, the Titanic is on there. Yep. Uh, that's what I've heard, so we should be able to see it as we get into Belfast. So there's Derry. There's folks going around the roundabout. Round and round they go. When they stop, nobody knows. It's a small little airport. This island's such a beautiful place. Arlen and Wolf. Fly Darren is off. We'll do our best to have a good flight. You take it easy, rest well, and we'll catch you on the Murphy stream tomorrow. I have a strong suspicion that we're going to be around the Emerald Isle, maybe the UK, but you take care and we'll see you. Puff Joe B. Uh, took a crash. Well, it's unfortunate, Papa Joe, that you had a crash, but glad you were along for the ride regardless. You take care of yourself, have a good night, stay warm, and we will catch you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Murph's breaking his tradition of, oh, the Japan update came out. Oh, we'll check out the U.S. Oh, the U.S. The US update came out. We'll check out Japan. And now, now we're actually going to check out the, the big update. Which is, but it's grand regardless. Uh, it's, it's looking like a nice update. Uh, it took them a couple extra weeks to get it out of the oven. <laughs> Murphy says this could be dangerous. Yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm picturing it now, because Murph streams are typically or the, the Wednesday and Friday streams are typically the first leg is solo and then he opens up to mi multiplayer at the first stop so I, I'm just picturing it Murph flying in a Spitfire for the first leg and having the crack over you know the Emerald Isle and Spit and then switching to something much slower for the rest of it yeah it is worth the wait it's just a lot of it was a lot of my frustrations with the update was kind of how they announced it at the, you know, 11, 11th hour, you know, 58th minute on the supposed confirmed launch day. So it's just, it was really, that was the frustrating part for me. <laughs> the Spitfire, then the Blario all at night. There you go. Hard mode engaged.
set phasers to stun. Just look at it. Uh, needs the spit to be an eye. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, granted, I've seen it, and it's it's kind of a pea green for the most part, which is not a flattering color for the Spitfire, but I, I would take it for having the Irish colors. Every plane looks better with Irish Air Corps colors. Except for the 172. I'm, but I'm a bit partial to say that this looks a little bit better. So I, I have my bias when it comes to the 172 and best liveries. Pardon me. But though even the 172 does look amazing in the Irish colors, I just wish the one wasn't broken. Just missing some textures since the update. I really get impatient, but I'm chomping at the bit for that. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've, I've been playing around with the sp a, a freeware conversion from FSX, and I've got it nice. For it's not, you know, it flies decent, does well. Uh, but there's no gauges, and it's definitely far from perfect. Um, but, you know, regardless, seeing such a nicely well done by Flying Iron, it looks fantastic. Day one purchase for sure. As Infidel Rifleman, good to see you. Hope you're well. We're just talking about the the Spitfires, uh, and you know, as I mentioned earlier, Murph had flown the uh, Flying Iron Beta version Spitfire Babab uh, last night in India, and not long after the stream, I'm scrolling through my phone at Facebook just because that's what you do when you're bored. And I see a post from Aeroplane Heaven saying, hey, look at these screenshots of the virtual cockpit of our Spitfire Mark I. Ooh. So, of course, I shared what I could onto the Two-Tone Murphy Discord, and it looks amazing. So we're going to have a Mark IX and a Mark I in relatively short order, one would hope. And this terrain is nuts. Now, the Mark I, if I remember correctly, was the one that really started with the Battle of Britain. Because um, the Mark IX's were not until later. So the, the Mark I Spitfires were very instrumental for the Battle of Britain. Yeah, it's at least their X-Plane version, unless they've listed the MSFS version uh, for Flying Iron. Uh, it's 50 bucks, but I'm willing to spend it because that looks amazing. It's one of those, it's expensive, but I would fly it a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, I fail to understand the importance of the hurricane. Oh, the bow, the the hurricane's a fantastic airplane too. Admittedly, when back in the combat flight simulator days of Microsoft Combat Flight Simulators, the first one it had a tendency to fly the Spitfire more than the Hurricane, but the Hurricane's a nice little aircraft too. I think they both had the Merlins. 
Uh, I'm not sure if VTOL is possible currently, but yeah, no, that'd be fantastic. I saw some random suggested YouTube video of someone testing out VTOL with an F35 conversion in MSFS. I didn't watch it, but it was interesting. And speaking of battle for uh, battle, the battle for Britain, or battle of Britain, battle over Britain. Uh, I got a DVD in the mail yesterday and it ordered basically a week ago, and it comes with Battle of Britain, A Bridge Too Far, and a movie called Exodus uh, with Paul Newman. So I've got some watching to do. Oh yeah, uh, even even the U.S. version of the Harrier, the AV-8B, uh, was very instrumental with the United States Marine Corps. And now that the F-35 is slotted to replace it, well, the F-35B, as the B model is the Marine Corps variant, with the VTOL engine or Stovall St short takeoff vertical landing look at the amazing flying by you guys Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Uh, the, the PA-28 Aero 3 from Just Flight seems to be nearing its release. Uh, ETE should be about 14 minutes. Aviation RC. Uh, I see the cloud around the aircraft. Uh, it's hard to see on harder to see on stream than um, and it has to be real close. It's more noticeable during the early sunrise. It, it is there, it's it, but it is subtle. I noticed it when I first loaded up and was getting the camera positioned. Um but it's definitely more noticeable with the uh, when you're up close to a cloud and with the sun at either sunset or sunrise. So right when it's right about the horizon-ish. See what airport is close to us right now. Actually, uh, closest airports right now would probably be Echo Golf Golf Juliet or Echo Golf Alpha Alpha. I uh, would like to see the the Vulcan bomber and say, ooh, that'd be neat. Uh, my old 1080 Ti is one of the cheaper ones with three small fans, and right now it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, when the when the fans get going on my uh, AMD 5600 XT, it's loud. Uh, Kingston and the Epic, yeah, 100%. Yeah, and we're we're seeing a a bit of an explosion of aircraft, if you'll pardon the pun, or whatever the if you'll pardon the usage of words. Uh, but we're we're finally starting to the the SDK is maturing. People are figuring out ways around it or around some of its limitations, and really starting to see a lot of aircraft coming out now, which is fantastic. Um, you know, I think a lot of the, the warbirds of various eras have a really strong place in the sim. Uh, you know, I've been talking with, I was talking with Jay Winokur, um, about some stuff because he's starting to fly IL-2 a little bit, uh, getting into some more in-depth uh, flight sims outside of War Thunder, and you know, I, I think there's a strong case for Microsoft to do another World War II or even Korean era uh, combat flight sim. That I think there's a, a fair market because there's a you know DCS is great, but it's so in depth that it's it's hard for the average user to get into and enjoy in depth. Uh, how is it going to be great? 100% Kingsman. Yeah, but and but DCS also focused mostly mostly on more modern stuff. You know, missile age. You know, that's hard me that sort that sort of thing. IL2 is still pretty good and still being developed in various ways. Uh but it still has the sense of, you know, it's based around a map, as opposed to uh, the whole world. Uh, whereas if Microsoft Flight Simulator were to get back into it, you could get the one, and you'd start off in, like, the European theater. And then you could get the expansion for the Mediterranean theater, or the North Africa theater, and then the, e the Eastern Front, and the Pacific theater... So I th I still think there's a strong potential and and call for a Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator again, with these updated the updated fidelity that we have, and with how things are maturing, and getting more stable and such with the sim itself. You know, it it, it could be that middle ground between, you know, people that want something more in depth than the arcade War Thunder but not as in-depth as DCS but isn't restrained by a map so I, I, I my personal opinion is there, there's a, a reasonable market for that sort of thing from from Microsoft and Asobo whether they do it or not I doubt I have doubts that they will I would love to be surprised that they would be interesting, but I think I think there's a I think there's a strong market for it. Uh, like I said, uh, Jay Winokur, he's been flying IL two, and it, lo it still looks good, but it kind of compares graphically to X Plane or what I've seen of X Plane. It's not bad, but it's not this. Oh, a hundred percent. A World War II flight sim where you're dogfighting in VR? Holy cow, take my money, please. So there's, I believe, the main Belfast International Airport. It's Echo Golf Alpha Alpha. But we're making our way towards Belfast City Airport. Which you can't see anything ahead of us. 
but with with warbirds looking as good as they do in the sim right now uh, I think having a, a nice high visual fidelity combat flight sim would be amazing but that's just one person's opinion And it would be a, a nice way to separate the, I don't know if separate's the right word. Because you could still put, you know, make planes interchangeable between the two, but you could have, you know, the people that want to go, you know, here, there, and wherever to, you know, and, like I could, in theory, take a, an airplane and go up to uh, the Grayling Army Airfield here in Michigan and do target runs there, or fly out of Selfridge Air National Guard Base and you know patrol Michigan. You know, I could do that. You know, in either one, but I could do this, you know weapons testing because uh, there's a big aircraft testing range in northern Michigan, northern Lower Michigan, and it could be fun to have that as a practice range. That'd be exciting. Oh, 100 percent. Ten miles out, says Draco. About five minutes, so we'll pop back into the cockpit. We're gonna pass these mountains and then fly over the air, the city. Doing nicely on the cruise. Oh, 100 percent. But you know, and you, you could like, you, you could have the modules for the different theaters of World War II, and then you can start adding in theaters of you know the Korean War. I mean, you, you could even do for World War II, you can do the the Flying Tigers, you know, flying in China. Uh, there's you know the all the the Mediterranean uh, not the Mediterranean the uh, Solomon Islands you know that sort of thing there's there's a lot of potential you know and then you can get into the you know Korean conflict and and so on in different you know areas of aerial combat as we're getting into Belfast that looks like some sort of quarry or mining area. And then there's a what appears to be a cemetery, or maybe a solar array. Second guess is definitely a solar array. So I think after these ridges we get into Belfast. So what we're going to do is we're going to overfly the airport just a little bit before landing. So the city looks off of ice. See the train kind of adjusting as we get closer. So we're going to pop in the cockpit. Going to disable the autopilot. I want to start wandering around the area a little bit. Kind of explore the city. See the sights, check out Belfast.
Eh. See, I'm seeing a big freighter in the bay there. Uh, my ship settings may be off or low because I'm not seeing it. That's okay. I think this is the Titanic museum thing. Got some cranes up here. Looks like there's something in a dry dock. A couple things in dry docks. There's the air port. There's a couple of ships in the harbor. Very nice. Golf course. Stadium of some kind right there. Very cool. So we're going to come in and land this way. So we're going to go ahead and get back into the cockpit. We'll reduce power. To... Eh, we'll give it about... I will trim up. Get about 1800 RPM. down to about 1700 RPM which is good that's what we want so we're on downwind so second first same as the first I'll get landed then I'll get set up and ready to record the landings by the fireflies. Very nice formation flying though. I have to give credit where credit is due. Toss out a couple notches of flaps as we're on our base. Trim down a bit to compensate. We're going to go over here and paste cam on for the dramatic effect. Throw out the last notch of flaps. We're going to add a bit of power in. Airfield in sight. Trim down a bit. So we're still, we're awfully slow and awfully high. So reduce power. Pitch to airspeed, throttle to altitude. 
need to drop a little bit more fervently to get on the glide slope. Hundred percent, Ed. It's it's definitely running smoother. At least for me. Others' mileage may vary. There's 60. So we're going to throttle the idle, start rolling out. Kiss the ground, a little bit of a bounce. That's a okay. We're under 40 knots, flaps coming up. We're at idle throttle. Crack the mixture a little bit to not follow the plug. Yeah, that's a big sign. I'm just going to take the first turn that we can. We're going to stop. Parking brake is set. Uh, traffic on. Fly. Go back. Zoom. Camera. Uh, why do you do these things? And into... Why are you... And there we are. There's... Floydrix. We'll kill that. Hide me. There's Draco. There's Merlin Flyer. Ozymandias has to go. Join the stream. Glad you're here. Glad to have you along. We'll catch you in the next time, for sure. There's always the Discord as well. Copper P has to... Uh, so, uh, thanks to the great team as always. Just viewing tonight. Appreciate it. No worries. Glad to have you along in the chat. I figured, if nothing else, have, letting people at least see parts of the update was important. Uh, so, I'm, I'm glad I was able to provide that for you. As Dougal's in. Very nice landing by everyone so far. There's Frozen.
Glad to help out, Ed. Sean Lego Man is in. Usually see him in a Mooney. I'm not sure why I don't see it. Oh no! I wonder what caused it. Yes, thanks to everyone flying along too. Been an asset and great company. That maybe. Uh, Aviation RC is in with the Bonanza, followed closely by an Irish Air Corps 172 of Kozaki Flyer. There's our Bachetta. Nicely done. Good float. Down. Nice. So we'll check to see if any more inbound. That seems to be it. Awesome. Well, here we are at Belfast. I'm going to do a quick sim restart just to help out. So we'll switch to this screen for the moment. <laughs> well, look at the bright side, Dougal. It happened after landing. The the amount of times that I've I've had a nice flight get just turned on a base leg and then crash is infuriating. Okay, so do that, do that. So you see here on the screen, it's we are having a planning a tentative meetup at Oshkosh in 2022, which should be amazing because Oshkosh is itself the center of general aviation and definitely a mecca of sorts for flyers around the world. Both real world uh, casual fans and simmers alike. So it's a wonderful place where we can all get together and find something to really enjoy. There's how to learn to build your own airplane, how to learn how to fly. There's a lot of everything. Also, some across the planet can't go other than that. Well, it sounds like you need a boat, a fast boat. That's unfortunate, Diggle. We'll have to find a way. Ooh, fly, find a flying boat. Then it can fly lower than normal airline altitudes and still be there quicker than a regular boat. Then if anybody says anything, you'd be like, I was on a boat. It's not my fault it could fly too. I, I booked a cruise. I didn't know the cruise had wings. Modern problems require modern solutions. Or in the case of flying boats, old solutions. Frozen's here. I'm out. Had to get up early tomorrow. At least I was able to check up. Yeah, glad to have you along, Frozen. You did phenomenal flying there. Glad to have you along. We'll definitely catch you tomorrow. You rest well and we will catch you. Between the Discord and the Murphy stream.
<laughs> I'm guessing this is London. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. You can't see to the things that I'm pointing at, but I'm looking at the loading screen pointing out all the things that I don't know what it is, which are plentiful. Flight Sim does seem to be playing better with OBS, which is huge in its own right, because <laughs> that's good news for streaming, <laughs> which is the thing that I'm doing, and it working better is always good. Google's going to try the 182. Ooh. Oh, and you know what we haven't seen? The the, the land spikes. They haven't been seen because they've been fixed. So, huzzah. So, GAC, Belfast City, Zoom to details, Zoom to teachers, Kircher. Set time to. Eh, we'll give it. Eh, we'll get it closer to noon. To E I M E. E I M E. Oh, casement air base Baldana. Da, 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 check, 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 and bingo. Have a good night, Aviation RC. Glad to have you along. Hope you enjoyed the flight. We'll catch you next time. And Draco's rolling out the Seminole for th from the hangar for the sled. Ooh. I can't see. Love me the 182. Love me the Seminole. I like the Mooney. But I definitely haven't fallen in love with it like Murph had. Of course, I think now that the spit he he can fly a spit for the the poor Mooney is going to get neglected. Someone should paint up a Mooney that looks like a Spitfire, and maybe he'll fly the Mooney again. All right, so <laughs> oh, he heard that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm the same thing. It's. I like the Mooney. I don't love the Mooney. I love the 182. And the Seminole is great fun as well. So we're just checking the field. So. Alright. So. Master Beacon. Mags go to both. Feel cut off open. Trim set for takeoff. Mixture rich. Throttle cracked. Ah, uh, the way it catches me out on takeoff. Yeah, it, it can be a bit tricky. Uh, da, 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 clear prop. Righto. Okay, make sure the engine is idling between 900 and 1,000. Pull back the mixture just a little bit. Turn on the avionics. Nav and taxi lights come on. Transponder goes to altitude. Our barometer, our altimeter is set. We're right above the sea. And for this, we'll get the altitude punch in. 
Go to 2,500 again. All right. Parking brake release. Introduce a bit more throttle to brake momentum and get rolling. Well, it didn't disengage the parking brake. That would do it. Hello. There's a zoom. We see the lovely skyline there. So as we cross the hold short line, the landing light comes on, taxi light comes off, and strobe lights come on. As we're going to back taxi. Let's get that one. Too. There's a good one. So we'll back taxi all the way to the end. We paid for the whole runway, so might as well take advantage of it. We're doing a fast taxi. Almost at the end, we'll go over to the right for turnaround. As we already have a firefly down here ready and patiently waiting. Uh, Flydrake attempted to fly under Samson and Goliath. On the way out, I'm guessing those are the the names of those cranes. Well, I will definitely not try and stop you. So everyone ready to go, mixture goes to full as I'm a bad host. I forgot to turn the camera back on. Slowly introducing power back into the engine. Picking up a little crosswind. So, aileron to the right a little bit. I don't know how many rules are... <laughs> ah, yeah. We're fine. It'll be fine. There's 300 feet, flaps coming up. There's the tower. What's the old saying? Rules are meant to be broken. So if one's named Samson, does that mean that the the whoever is operating it is name has to be just titled Delilah by default and with Goliath David I'm going to say that's a big old nope on the flying under him Uh Brick the, the update so far for me has been fantastic performance is a bit smoother Although I've only been checking out Ireland thus far. The satellite imagery seems to be a bit sharper. The terrain a bit more defined. The water mask a bit more defined as well.
There's the Titanic Belfast Museum thing. I guess it was great other than it, it visually looked different. It looked like you, you hit it and went up and then kind of the same thing for the second one. So Belfast is definitely not a photogrammetry city, but they did include some appeal, at least one POI. We probably flew past other POIs, but I don't have the little marker for them on. We still have fireflies rolling. So there's Belfast, very nice looking city. I think it, between it and Dublin and other cities in Ireland, definitely deserve some photogrammetry attention. But all, all of that is dependent on uh, Microsoft and Bing. So it seems everybody's up, so we're going to, hello. So we're going to go ahead and activate the GPS, or the autopilot, I should say. It is. Um, even because uh, Sunday I had lowered some settings, and it was still iffy here and there, but it's definitely smoother now. than it was even two days ago. So we're setting the engine RPM for 2400. We're going to lean the mixture a bit. So we're not following the engine. We'll go ahead and hide me. As we give one last fly pass to Belfast. And I should have called off whole company appears to have stayed home today. <laughs> Someone's got to watch them cameras. <laughs> the whole place has been sacked with rain and fog. <laughs> no work tonight. Just it. I think they did a. It was worth the wait, and, and and worth the frustration of the delay after delay after delay for this update. I I only had wished that their handling of the PR end of it had been a little bit better. Um, that's that's my only gripe. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, and that's simply because you know you, you, you can't you delay something that's already been delayed a couple of times and you, you delay it at the 11th hour right before and 
not be like, hey, something, you know, major, you know, happened and we've got to delay it. You know, cool, no problem, these things happen, software development's a real tricky business, no, no harm, no foul. But to just not... It's just, I, I think that their PR could have been a little, handled a little better. There's that Skyline, beautiful airplane. Not a lot of liveries out for it, which is kind of a shame. I think it's a very deserving aircraft. Having a bit more definition to the satellite imagery and the, the terrain and the, the, the water mask, whatever they want to call it. It's been a welcome improvement. Like I said, the, the whole update's been you know worth the wait. It's just the, the wait's always frustrating. You know, the... I, I do not envy in the least software developers because you're you're kind of darned if you do, darned if you don't because you either put out something that has bugs or you you take a long time to put something out and you you can't win either way. Oh dear! Don't just don't tell Murphy about the legs. He'll he'll he won't be able to sleep at night if he hears about the legs. With all the bad memories. Yeah, hundred percent, Winnaker. It's just you know, Cyberpunk went through that and you know I I feel bad as <laughs> Crispy Go eight oh two has followed over on Twitch. Many thanks, my friend. Hope you enjoy the flight and enjoy the content <laughs> they be mighty legs <laughs> uh, worst case scenario an early broken patch would have uh, yeah so it, it's really it's a catch-22 because you know you either upset people with a broken patch which Osobo's already done that before or you upset people about a delay and it's you, you just can't win sometimes sometimes you just can't win for losing as we see a nice Seminole off in the distance. You know, so I, I, I feel for software developers. It's just, you, you can still manage PR. Uh, and that that's, that's where it all comes down to, is managing PR and making sure that, you know, things are well taken care of with that. But regardless, the update's out, it's phenomenal, and, and we've only basically touched the surface of it. Flying around Northern Ireland. Eked out what stream I could today because of not only having to delay because of the update, but, you know, other people are stuck downloading it at reduced speeds because everybody's downloading the update. And a sizable update it was. Well, the fingers are crossed for you there, Catbat. Don't forget to get the content in the marketplace. 
which really has all the POIs, landmarks, uh, airports, and autogen buildings. It's amazing. That's some awesome flying in the 182. I uh, just realized prior to the patch, G Sync on um, worked in Windows Mountain. Now it's properly nice. So this is an area I don't really get to fly around a lot. Uh, yeah, I did that too, but it was instantly downloaded. Some resources in. There you go. Don't get to fly the route between Belfast and Dublin all that often, so get to see a little bit of new scenery. Uh, yes. If, if there's one gripe about the 182 is the the head position when you're not in VR. The head position when you're not in VR, the, just the, the default one, is just like you look left, there's the wing. You, you kind of have to go down to see anything out of the side window or you have to go forward and look around. Also, the front seats are slid back too far. Once you're in VR, though, it's phenomenal. Nice Cessna formation we've got going on here, lads. With a Seminole. And it looks like we even have a Mooney. If only we had someone in Owako, we'd have the whole Carinado fleet. Uh, this is... I had not, but that's awesome. Uh, confirm some, st still some bits to download. Well, on the upside, you're on the tail end of it. Uh, let's see, a nice advertisement for Carinado. Yeah, I'm totally not sponsored by Carinado. I don't get a thing from them, so. But they do make nice things to fly. Roger that, Cat Bat. <laughs> oh, I gladly, if they want to send me things for the, the low, low price of advertising for them, I'll do it in a heartbeat. <laughs> it's like, what's that? You're making a P-51? Oh, I'd gladly test that out for you if 
you send me a copy, I'll sing all of its praises. Oh, you're making a B-25. Huzzah! I like B-25s. Ooh, we got a goose coming. So we got a 182, at least three 172s, a goose, a Seminole, and a Mooney. What a motley crew this is. And then we have whatever they're in. I'm not sure. Uh, radio switches are on Ireland. <laughs> Controllers are pulling their hair out. Going, why aren't this? Why isn't this group of airplanes talking to us? Rabbit section, scramble, tally ho, chalks away. Oh, we just lost somebody briefly. suppose I should turn around and make sure we're... Oh, look at these. Look at this mountain range. Isn't that nice? Not a lot in the way of trees, but isn't that pretty? Make sure we're going to actually clear... Yeah, we should be okay. Train mesh has seen a decent update for Ireland. Most of it, most if not all mountains are standing. With, yeah, I can I can definitely tell the difference. Instead of looking like tall rolling hills, they actually look like peaks. Uh, second PC just crashed the one I watch on. Ooh.
Look at that. Look at that. I hadn't seen this view yet. Before or after the update. Look at that. Isn't that some scenery? Uh, Drake, he said the one he watches on, which is the, the extra weird part about it. So not the sim one. So it's extra weird. Look at this. And it looks like the cliffs, the new cliffs of Dover, look really nice in the update, and they look even better when behind a Spitfire. I'm kind of drooling over some screenshots that Murphy has posted over on his Discord channel. It's just amazing. So you can definitely count on a full tour of the southern coast of the of Britain here soon. There's Dougal. So what's this bay called? ever get the feeling that you're going off course and this is just this is just stunning Right on the, yeah. Just for some reason, I thought maybe I didn't enter something in right. Nice job, Dougal. And everybody. It's just. This is a blast. We have the Irish Sea off to screen right. Mr. Chippy's in. Good to see it. Holy flip those shops of the White Cliffs. Yeah, they are.
defense. This is uh, they've been so far the the coastline improvements, at least as far as water masking has gone around the northern edge of Ireland, has been phenomenal as well. The mountains stand prouder. The valleys seem deeper. The textures are a bit crisper. And the shoreline's a bit sharper. Uh, big positive for me, just wish we'd got more cities in the north with photogrammetry, but hey-ho. Yeah, 100%. I, and I could say the same about Ireland. Um, I can even say the same about the, the U.S. update. Um, you know, I was just kind of thinking, it's like, I kind of wish Asobo had broken the U.S. update into smaller chunks, like... Maybe not necessarily state by state, but like, you know, the West Coast and, you know, broken up by time zone even. Uh, kind of give them time to spend a bit more detail because especially with the U.S. there's so much. It's, it's less, it, it would be as if they had done the whole of Europe. You know, with the U.S. they could have spent more time on each little area and added even more in than they did. Yeah, and and that only not only it not only reduces necessarily the workload, but you get you get more bang for the buck almost. I I, I would have gladly waited waited for that to get more attention done to you know different regions like the Great Lakes region and the West Coast and the East Coast and the mountain regions, et cetera, the Great Plains, the Great Basin, you know. Uh, if they had broken it, I think they they would have it would have been even better. But it is what it is. They're still going to support this for ten years, so who knows what will be done in the future? Yeah, no, hundred percent. I haven't seen any yet either. So here's crossing the fingers and toes that they're all gone. <laughs> it's easy to do, Chip. Uh, it appears that this update has outdone all of those in the past as far as quality and customer. Yeah, uh, between them, take it, having the delay, and, and part of me kind of feels like the delay may have helped them kind of reevaluate their release schedule. But it, it's definitely, I think they they were able to put more effort into it than they did with Japan and with the U.S. So I, I completely agree, Ed. As Dougal and somebody else has just dropped off the sim. Server glitch. No, it's, it's a good observation, Ed. Uh, I would definitely agree. Uh, yes, Chippy. Oh, now I see Dougal. We teleported. We...
So it looks like here soon we're going to be passing Gormiston. Probably saying that a little wrong. Won't be the first time, won't be the last time. But I'm sure my Irish friends will correct me. Chase McNeil is in the house. Good to see you. <laughs> well, with all the snow you got, it's great for sleeping, so I don't blame you a bit. Hope you're well. Hope you're staying warm. And not overworking yourself with the snow removal. If, if I can give props to, to cold weather for anything, it's for making it a lot nicer to sleep. Although there's nothing wrong with an afternoon nap. Jepson 2001 with a CTD first one ever. Ooh. Be interesting to see what the event viewer says is the cause. Uh, as Mr. Did I hear there's snow in Houston, Texas? Uh, Texas as a whole is kind of frozen over, which is highly unusual. Uh, they weren't prepared for the type of cold that they got, which is really Arctic weather, or you no, know, Arctic cold. So it actually shut off power grids across at least half the state, leaving a lot of people without power, including our good friend AS Old Veteran, or Scott Voigt. Uh, luckily, his power was restored today, so he was able, so him and his are keeping warm. So yeah, the Texas and and the rest of the the southern part of the United States, they're not used to cold weather in general. But to get for them to get Arctic cold weather is extremely rare, and they're just not ready for it. They don't their infrastructure isn't necessarily equipped to handle it. Up here in Michigan, it's really cold, and we've got quite a bit of snow, but we're used to it. Yeah, Texas got obliterated with ice for sure, you know, but, you know, us here in Michigan and states like Minnesota or Wisconsin or the Dakotas, used to that all day long, you know. Dakotas probably get a little, a bit colder, especially with wind chill, but, you know, Texas and Oklahoma, Alabama, Louisiana, those states are not pre re re prepared for it. Yeah, and as I, I'm the kind of person I I joke that you know an inch of snow falls in the south and everything shuts down. I I, I it's a joke because you know I'm from Michigan. I'm from where we're pre prepared for that sort of thing and where it's normal. But in a realistic sense, they're just not ready for it, so they don't know what to do like we do. Right. And like I think Murph has said that the whole of Ireland has like four snow plows. So you know, like I said, as, as much as I joke about it, I in in a much realistic sense, I, I'm very, you know, my heart goes out to them because they're just they don't have the infrastructure preparedness like we do. 
Yeah. Critters begin to... <laughs> I had one friend posted that apparently Scotland names all their snowplows and you can track them. No, they don't. They don't generally need to. But you know, you know, it, it is what it is, and they're getting by. It's just we're we're having unusual cold weather in the central part of the United States, north to south. I think I've seen a few of them, uh, and yeah, <laughs> it seems like they've either let the public name the plows, or you have some really they they have some really clever people naming them, and it's awesome. Because I wasn't sure it was real at first, just with some of the names I was seeing, it's like, they were, I mean, they who is it that was over there that was they were building a boat and they were looking for the to the public name and they wouldn't name it Bodie McBoatface. Uh, cause of application area NTDLL. Ooh. I don't know what that is. What does NTDLL do? Aha! Ooh. So I wonder if they're gonna NVIDIA is gonna have some new drivers come out. Ooh, there's a motorway. So, as we're getting nearer and nearer to Casement Aerodrome Baldonnel, we're going to be able to see the fantastic rendition that Jefferson 2001 has created and that we're very fortunate to be able to call partly home in our virtual skies. It is available for download for free, or as freeware at tutormurphy.com. However, if you like it enough, feel free to drop Jefferson a couple of bucks for the effort. He spent ages working on it, and it's really turned out phenomenally. Let's see. It's a runtime issue for an NVIDIA not always attached to a driver. Power settings and graphics settings tend to push those errors. Uh, that could do it. can't wait. Uh, of one thing I'm really excited for is to try out the Spitfire in VR, because that's going to be amazing. It looks like we got a pits below us. And speaking our, on the topic of Jepson 2001 scenery, he is working on a very nice version of Shannon Airport in Ireland. Echo India November November. Ooh, that looks like a racetrack. Or it looks like it could be used as a racetrack anyway. Uh, cheers Murph. I just tweaked things prior to what just back. Ha! There you go. That'll do it. We're getting over getting close to Dublin now. Uh, did you get the Rift S? I got the Rift S, yes. 
I've not yet had a chance to try VR in the new update, so I'm interested to see if performance is better or worse or unchanged. There goes the spits. So we should be coming up on Dublin International here soon. We'll see it off to our left. going to go for runway 28 when we get to Baldano. Javier, better for me, about the nice. Just look at the scenery, it's just gorgeous. Here's a roundabout. Nothing abnormal about that here in Ireland. can almost see the the white sheep baked into the scenery but yeah I'll have to check out VR with the update and see how it fares on my little old system look at that So we're about five and a half minutes till Baldano. Ah, uh, you know why we might not see? Because I think that's... Dublin International there, but I don't have the Orbex version installed. That might be why it looks kind of plain. Not to be punny, but that would make sense why it doesn't look detailed. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Piat says, I'm in VR as you speak, and it seems to be similar to what it was as far as performance. Okay, so I guess mileage may vary depending on headset and settings, which is reasonable. So that's Dublin International there. I have a nicer looking version. It's just not installed. And of course, Caseman Aerodrome Baldonnell is the home of the Irish Air Corps. Roger that, Catbat. 
Chain Train says, did I not read in the MSFS description that Orbex is being... Uh, it's possible? I don't recall off the top of my head, because I just don't remember. Uh, but I just, I uninstalled everything just for the sake of smoothness as far as scenery goes, with the exception of a few things. Uh, other than... So the Orbex stuff, I, I did not, I definitely do not have installed. Just, just to make sure everything works just fine. So, we're getting awfully close. We're about five miles out. Can almost see it. In fact, you can see the beacon. So what we're going to do, we're going to disable the autopilot. Mixture goes to rich. Throttle gets set for descent. You can see the rotating beacon shining off just above the instrument panel. Just a reminder, we're going for runway 28. So the home of the Irish Air Corps A place that our good friend Two Tone knows oh so well. It's a beautiful airfield in and of itself, and Jepson 2001 has done a phenomenal job recreating it in the sim. Airfield in sight. We got a firefly right over it. Scenery, of course, available at twotonemurphy.com. So, reduce power even more. Set it to 1600 RPM. We're going to trim up the nose so that we lose airspeed. We see... Runway two one or two two. Hello. As we enter a right base for runway two eight. Hmm. Excuse me. So we're just above the white arc. Just inside, one notch of flaps coming in. We're gonna trim down to compensate for the extra lift. And readjust our throttle. Don't want that one. That's appropriate song, I think. That feels good. Re We'll adjust our heading for base. As we turn on the face cam for dramatic effect. Uh, no, we're on Northern Europe. Uh, East USA was acting funny at the beginning, so we just stuck with uh, Northern Europe. Kind of like... Uh, it's our backup. So we're going to turn, we're going to add another notch of flaps. Trim down a little bit more. 2275 of 238. There you go, Hawk Driver. Good to see you, my friend.
So we're really high on the glide slope, so we're going to reduce power significantly, toss in the last notch of flaps. Look at the lovely airport. I don't know as I've shown it off on my stream yet. So huzzah. Uh, this is Echo India Mike Echo North Europe server. This is Casement Aerodrome Baldonnel as represented by Jefferson 2001. Who did a phenomenal job. And it is available on twotonemurphy.com. So we're at 60 knots for final approach. Wait, we can just go to practically go to idle now. So, a little off center line, that's okay. Roll out. Okay, under 40 knots. Flaps come up. We'll get turned off the runway. Set engine power for idle. Yeah, those are them some big signs. So we'll get parked up here. Get ready to. See general oopsie to do traffic labels apply back resume so we'll, and you can see the the new displaced threshold to get over runway two two Wind is almost straight down the runway. As we go ahead and hide me, because, well, we want to watch the landings and not see me. There's our bruschetta. You were close, Ed. Rattling jeans had join us. We see them right next to us where we parked. There's Draco in the Seminole. Pia in the Caravan. There's Floyd, Floyd Ricks. Floyd Ricksby. Ha! I decoded it! Floyd Rixby. Ha ha ha! Uh, Jefferson 2001 in the IAC 172. Question How do they choose the runway numbers? Magnetic heading. It's all based on the magnetic heading of what the runway is. So, 28, you're facing 280 degrees. The other would be. Uh, runway 070 magnetic heading as Catbat and Piat are in nicely done there's Nagma O double three and now you know you a you asked the question and you found the answer So once everybody gets in, I will definitely take everybody on a short tour of Casement Aerodrome or Cape 
Yeah, Casement Aerodrome Baldano. I'll get it down. You'd think I would know it by now. It's practically a, a third airport home for me by now. As Pilot NGBL has made a follow on Twitch. Many thanks, my dude. Hope you enjoy the content and the flight. As Dougal McTavish sets down. Hope you're well, my dude. Pilot in GB. I guess there's no L. It was an exclamation point. Very nice. Uh, we are looking at a rendition by Jepson 2001, available at twotonemurphy.com as freeware. As Sean Legoman greases in the landing in the Mooney. Jepson has done a phenomenal job recreating Baldonnel. And works flawlessly in the new UK Ireland update. So, let's see if we have any more friends coming in. Oh, yeah, we got more friends coming in. Just in time for the landing, seems they updated the Finanza. The... Nice. Yep, the Baldano home of the Irish Air Corps. Fantastically renditioned by Jeppesen. Uh, re last Friday, I believe there was an update for it. It kind of changed a few things here and there. As there's Kazaki Flyer in the goose. So I think that's all of us. So let's go on a bit of a tour. As you can see, the, the runway signs, they, they got bigger. They got really big. <laughs> uh, so I need... Rattling Jesus here. Good to see it. Uh, so I need to change the files in my community folder. Then. Uh, basically, I to make it easy, just download the new version, delete the old version, and just install the new version. Piat Laros is off to explore the update a bit more. Awesome. Sounds like we just had somebody fly in. I'm mistaken. So one of the big updates was here at the new hangar. Look at that. The door's closing. Isn't that awesome? And you got you got your man out there keeping guard, making sure no ne'er do wells walk in. I'm gonna see if we can jump in there before the door closes. Look at that. Got a PC twelve in there. A big mural on the back. Some work carts and such. You got Firepoint in both English and Irish has uh, found the Easter Angling Hangar 5 yet. I haven't looked, to be honest with you. You got the ductwork, even. So now we have to find an Easter egg, huh? There's a cart. I had not known. That there is an Easter egg. Oh, uh oh. Oh, there's something on. Is 
It's a clipboard with some notes on it. Got your man looking at the carts, inspecting things and stuff. See, there's bay three lights. It's located above you. Uh -huh. Well, now we gotta look. Located above. Ah, curse these in precise controls. Ah, curses. Yeah, no, it's phenomenal. So now that we get and we know that there's an Easter egg, we got to look for the Easter egg. Go into the ducting, need to slow down, yeah. Slow is a problem. Ducting. The ducting. Ah. Movements in this are very difficult. To do slowly. You really gotta tap. Tippity tap. Curses. There's a something. Curse this fast movements. That's better. It's definitely a hamster run, for sure. Hmm. I seem to be missing it. But it sure is entertaining to watch. I'll have to keep keep an eye out for it for sure. But for now, we'll just check out the scenery from the outside so that we can show everybody. As there's a lovely IAC. Uh, for me, it was broken. For me, the... Uh, the livery was broken, at least from the inside. The uh, cockpit textures, textures didn't want to work. There's a fire station. And the tower. I had it, but I went left. There's your man manning the tower. Well, God, uh, now I gotta know. Had it, but I went left. Get it, but I went left, huh? Aha! Well, hello! Murphy was here. Would you look at the state of that? It's the bingo card! <laughs> How about that? That's awesome! I love it! Absolutely love it. 
a wild gigna appears. Tasty beverage. Medic. I love it. Well done, Jefferson. Well done. So, we continue to explore. This is Hangar 1. And if we give it a minute, as we can get rid of the camera controls, there they go. More moving doors. Now there's actual parking spots inside of the other hangar and this one. You got your lift. You got your man working on the invisible jet. It is phenomenal work. You got a, another hanger over here, which somebody's parked a Mooney in. Ooh. You've got the Fireflies logos, the Jeppesen 2001 logo, the Two Tone Murphy logo. Just phenomenal work. And you have the memorial over here. Next to the church. And you have actual stained glass. Just phenomenal work all around. So, well done to Jeppesen. Uh, I wonder what this is supposed to be. Got some parking, the housing, storage. Got some antennas. It looks like they're constructing something over here. You got your fire crew training here. And fencing all around the perimeter. So, fantastic work, my friend. Absolutely lovely. Thanks to everyone for coming along with for, on the flight. We're going to find something a bit more. There we go. We'll play that. And then we'll do this. So thanks everybody for coming along on the flight and checking out the UK Ireland update uh, with me. We started off at Bel uh we started off at Beldano. We started off at Donegal, flew or no, we started off at Knock, flew up to Donegal, flew to Belfast, flew back here to Caseman Aerodrome, checked out Jefferson's lovely scenery. So I thank you very much for coming with me, checking it out with me, and it's been lovely having you here. But until next time, be good to each other, stay safe out there, we'll catch you next time. Take care.